for this speech to the attention of the inhabitants of Strasbourg, but the entire eastern region of France. The events of last night, which is clearly an attack, a, a terrorist attack, if we take the word terrorist in its uh, basic meaning, that is a intended to create terror, regardless of what the intentions of the individual who carried out this attack may be, it is without any doubt a terrorist attack. And as the state prosecutor uh, said very clearly just a few moments ago, you're familiar with the situation. Two individuals died in the attack. A third person is brain dead. And some 12 individuals have been injured, including uh, six in very critical condition. The vital prognosis is under question. As all of you, I'm sure, and all of my colleagues, I'm totally upset with yesterday's events. And I would like to begin by paying tribute to the behavior of the people of Strasbourg. With, they behaved with dignity, bravery, and relatively calmly and as much as one can be calm in those circumstances. I would also like to pay tribute to the work of the fire department, the police department, the national police, the municipal police, uh, the members of the uh, special forces protecting uh, the market, and all of the members of the uh, all of the employees of the city of Strasbourg who participated in uh, the aftermath of the events. I would like to express my sympathy to the families of the victims and to all of the people of Strasbourg who've undergone a very major psychological shock last night. And as I've just stated, they behaved with great dignity. Given this attack, what must be done? What must we do? First of all, I decided that today had to be a day of mourning. This is why myself and my colleagues we decided that we would refrain from any uh, discussion. It's a time for mourning, for compassion for the victims, be it those who died or those who are fighting uh, for their lives at this very moment. Again, I would like to say that that is our a uh, major concern that we all share. I was uh, by the side of the Minister of the Interior. In fact, I was in Paris, and he brought me here in his own airplane because, uh, obviously, because of the events, I needed to be here. Therefore, I was able to see the mobilization of the police forces, the emergency workers, and all of the other members of the administration. And I'd like to thank everyone who was involved on the ground and who continues to do so today, because the manhunt for, uh, of the uh, um, attacker it has not been completed as of yet. Today, there is a welcome center for the families at the Cité de la Musique et de la Danse. Anyone who has been impacted by these events may go there and find help and advice. This is a place where you will find representatives of the police, representatives of associations providing aid to victims, but also legal experts, 
It's a place where anyone who is a victim of the attack, be it a physical victim or a psychological victim, may go. It is Place de l'Étoile in Strasbourg at the Cité de la Musique et de la Danse. We have opened a condolences condolence register at the town hall where anyone who so desires may express him or herself. Last night, I must say, I was quite impressed by the mobilization of the people of Strasbourg. There was a lot of solidarity shown. Restaurants opened their doors to take people in who were terrorized and frightened to protect them. I also saw that Families opened their doors to people who couldn't get home, and they offered to uh, give them a bed for the night. Uh, they hadn't uh, planned to stay overnight, so they had no place to go. And this was done uh, with the help of uh, someone from the town hall who who helped find housing for people who otherwise would have been out in the street. People were calm. They respected the uh, restrictions and the lockdown. Over and beyond midnight, in fact, some people were only able to go to get out of the lockdown. Uh, including those who were in the Uranus uh, Stadium for a basketball game. It was extremely difficult to make a clear decision, an informed decision, to lift the lockdown because we simply did not know where the attacker was and we lifted the lockdown gradually with the necessary precautions. Numerous messages have come into Strasbourg, many, many messages, my various colleagues have received messages of sympathy and condolences, telling us that we must uh, uh, Keep a, keep a stiff upper lip and that our city had been attacked, but that I'm thinking, of course, of the message sent by the President of the Republic, uh, President Macron, by the Prime Minister, uh, by the President of the European Commission, uh, Jean-Paul Juncker, who wrote specifically, and he also put the commission flag at half-mast, as is the case here in Strasbourg at the Council of Europe and the European Court of Human Rights. Many colleagues, many other, many mayors of other major cities in France have also sent messages of uh, sympathy and condolences, as well as other foreign mayors. What now? Well, and I'll close in saying this, as I said a moment ago, 